There's all this talk about throwing hot water up in the air and immediately vaporizes, turns into an instant cloud in these extreme temperatures. I'm Steve Spangler. Don't take a glass of hot water, boiling water, throw it up in the air and expect it to turn into a cloud. People are getting hurt with the hot water coming down on them. I've got really hot water here in this uh, atomizer, or this squirt bottle. Watch what happens when I squirt it out this way. You can see the water is still hitting the ground, so it doesn't vaporize immediately. But along the trail there, you get this really cool cloud. If you just simply change the surface area, how much you're squirting out at a time, you can change what it looks like with the cloud until finally you get a fine mist. So if you want to make the cloud in the air, don't throw hot water up into the air. Try to vaporize it. Try to get as much of it uh, in the air as possible and stay away from it here like this. And you can get a pretty cool cloud. It's still cold. So if you want a really bigger cloud, instead of a squirt bottle, you would use a pressure washer. You'd have to have a hot water line from the house, and you'd have to have extremely cold temperatures. I think we've got all of that. This is a pressure washer over here, and it's six degrees below zero in Colorado. Watch this. Finally, the mist is just fine enough to get you that little cloud that's here. But you can still see that there's water here coming back down again. So it's not instantly freezing. You've got to increase the surface area if you want to get that cloud. You know what my kids are going to say? That's sick science. <laughs>